up everybody all right i hope everybody's having a great day today we're going to be talking about the top weed stocks for 2019 so let's jump right into it here so the first one and honestly probably one of the most popular marijuana stocks out there is uh c-r-o-n and it's called in the company name is cronus group and this is one of the you know uh, first stocks to actually release their IPO in the uh, marijuana sector. That's why it's kind of like one of, the, honestly, one of the you know more popular ones out here. This stock, uh, this past uh, year, went from you know this past year right here or in this area. So it went from you know three dollars and it hit a high of fifteen, and it actually released their IPO back in two thousand and what looks like 16 a little bit before that released uh july 11th 2016 and it released at 17 cents and as you guys can see we had just started this bull market with this marijuana sector you're going to see a lot of um you know bull markets with this sector when i talk about it because this past year we had this huge you know demand <clears throat> for these stocks just because we had a lot of states and countryly in countries, um, uh, you know, legalized marijuana. So the first one, you know, like I said, is C R O N. I could see this stock actually hitting, you know, upwards of thirty dollars. So that would be doubling your money if you got in, uh, you know, around you know fifteen dollars. But this thing could fall back down to eight before it happens because, as you guys can see, it has a pretty strong support on this 200 moving average line and for those of you who are investors and really don't know what this line means this line is the 200 moving average line so it takes the past 200 days and averages out the price so uh, that's what each of these lines mean this is the 200 this is the 90 then the 20 then the 5 so you know the 5 hugs it a little more tightly the 20 it uh, you know it's a little looser and then the 90 then the 200 so each of these lines act as some type of support or resistance so support pretty much just helps the stock continue to go up resistance kind of puts it uh, back down just for you know those of you who you know are new to trading or investing so you know CRON I could see this one hitting uh, you know upwards of thirty dollars and the expected sales growth sales uh, growth is around two hundred percent so and that's Wall Street. That was on a uh, Market Watch document, but realistically, I don't. I, I don't think it could be that high. Maybe you know around 30 or 40 percent, definitely. So that's why I'm valuing this stock at around 30 dollars uh, for next year. All right, number two on the scanner or on the watch list here is let me see S P R W F. So it's the Supreme Cannabis Company. So this one is a little cheaper, as you guys can see. And, you know, this is where we had this huge bull market. As you can tell, this went from 120 all the way up to 279. So uh, same thing. It has a pretty hard support at around at this 200 moving average line. So for a possible swing trade, you know, there's definitely some room in, uh, between here. And if it breaks over 125, we could have a possible pushback up to $2. So for those of you who are into swing trading, that could definitely be um, something something to keep an eye on. All right, so let's change this here. Let's make this a little uh, bigger. Let's do yeah. Let's make that like that. All right. So this is the five minute chart on the daily. This is the thirty minute and the ten days. And this is three years, one week. Let's go. Let's put the one year chart down here. All right. Perfect. We kind of just flip these up so it's a little easier to see. All right, let's move this down. One second. All right. Perfect. And let's move this. This is level two. This will just, you know, have the ask and the bid price. But all right. So as you guys can see, this stock went from, you know, 24 cents and just caught fire. And then we had some type of pullback, which is expected. Hit the 90 moving average. That's why I have these here. And just caught fire again, pushed back up, and 
uh, now it's using the 200 moving average line as some type of support which is pre pretty good for a possible breakout because as you guys can see each time that it broke through the these two uh, 5 and 20 moving average lines we had this huge push and these percentage are around you know 19 percent right here so each time that it does that you know there's a possible move for a swing trade so as it broke through here this is where we'd want to stay out we want to stay out we want to stay out it taps it and then it uses this as resistance pass through and then it broke out here and then we could sell either on the first pullback down or the first large pullback below the uh, previous red so that would be around here and that's around 20 percent so then it just you know continued to break down and then now it's on the 200 moving average line at around a dollar uh, you know a dollar 12 so where do I see this stock going I think this stock could be valued at 250 just because of how um, if how the weeds weed industry has changed you know we had a lot of early investors get in and then we just had a lot of sellout a lot of sellouts so a lot of you know big pumps and then a dump big pumps and then a dump but if you can catch either small um, you know percentages here or if you just want to hold it for the long term you know I think there could be a possible move uh, higher for sure but I think this one would have a very good swing trade possibility so that's why I put it on there all right so the next one here is ACB this one ha is called uh, I always get the name but it's um, ticker ABC and then the it's Enora cannabis is the you know company name so this one's very similar here you know this one had was at like 140 but then pushed all the way up to $12 so just from if you would have bought, you know, right before the breakout, so would have been, a, and then sold at peak top, that would have been a, almost a 500% move. And if you would have just continued to hold it, that would be around, you know, 38%. So, you know, right there is that's why a lot of people do that long-term uh, growth for these types of stocks. So it is valued right now at $5.14, but this past year, I could see this possibly hitting 15 or $17. Just because you know, same thing with the uh, SPRWF, it has it's in that weed sector, and it's honestly one of the most one of the more popular ones. And right now, since it's valued pretty cheap, and the uh, and the sales report said this thing could possibly push all the way up to, or you know, the sales growth could push you know upwards of seventy or a hundred percent. So that's why I think this thing could easily push to $17.50 or to $15 with ease, guys, with ease. So, you know, what's the risk for all these stocks right now? Well, obviously, since the weed sector is pretty new to the market, you know, uh, same thing. This one released in 2016 or 2015. So, yeah, 2016 right here. So, you know, I think uh, it is still on the ground floor. So if you could get into it and hold it for 40 years to see where these stocks will go, I think there could be definitely some type of move for it. All right, now uh, the next one here is OGRMF, and this one is you know honestly one of the more popular ones as you guys can see. And if you guys are looking over here, this is the 10-day chart, and most of these have an upward. Um, you know 10 you know an upward week a bull market week so that's pretty interesting you know I think this one could possibly be another swing trade candidate just because it's breaking through these resistant points and we could have a possible push back up to five dollars right now and then if it breaks through that then we could we have a little gap to fill in between you know six and five dollars then we could have another push back up to six but long term where do I see this uh, I see this stock pushing uh, upwards of eight dollars not as much um, just because of you know the company and it's a little different than the other ones 
from what I remember let's let's see if we can let's see if we can uh, see it here um, so there's a ton of you know weed stocks but these are just the more more popular ones guys but uh yeah so you know I think this stock could easily hit upwards of eight dollars and you know that still is doubling your money right now because the uh, it's valued at four dollars and sixteen cents so you know keep that in mind and then the last one here this is honestly the most popular stock or weed stock I should say not stock this one is TLRY look at this stock this went from $20 to a high of 30 and now it's just been kind of just slowly selling off ever since where do I see this stock valued at for 2019 well first of all these weeds all of these weed stocks they're in that weed sector so if let's say the big giant tlry catches fire and goes from you know seventy dollars to 150 then all of those other stocks people are going to jump on them thinking that they're going to go so that will cause all of them to pretty much you know go crazy but one thing that's different about TR tlry is if you guys have looked on the past couple of stocks the past week we've had all bull markets this stock has just been consolidated so th that could mean two things that could just mean we're figuring out who's in control the sellers or the buyers so you know would I jump into this stock right now no I would most likely hop in the other uh, you know four that we talked about just because they're a little less risky and you know they it's kind of like I don't know how to describe it but it just it doesn't make sense to hop into this thing because it's on a downward trend we don't know what what it's really valued at you know it says that this stock could possibly push up to two hundred dollars some experts say then some experts say it's worth fifty five dollars so you know that could <laughs> that is a big difference guys so you know those are the top five stocks in the weed sector for 2019 that I am looking at and I do plan on actually purchasing a couple so you know I will keep you guys uh, informed to see you know what I decide on doing but there's a lot of swing trade candidates out there some that we talked about guys so that's it though remember to always stay happy stay positive and I hope you guys enjoy this video please sure to like subscribe comment if you're new peace out everyone take care